So what we see here is a mimicking of the production and process environment to showcase the thermal stability and unit to unit tolerances of the flame spectrometer here we've developed a trade show science featuring a cool, ambient and heated environment where the spectrometers operating at different temperatures give the same performance we we'll change the way that we build spectrometers using automated instrumentation we're able to build instruments more precisely with greater thermal stability and reduce unit to unit variability in this process what we see is different dyes and different colors going through an absorbent setup. As we see, we're operating at three different temperatures, from slightly cooled at 24 degrees, to ambient temperatures at 27 degrees, to slightly heated temperatures at 31 degrees. And we see that the concentrations of the dyes in this absorbent setup are the same across all those instruments. The flame spectrometer here allows us to do this. So we've got the chiller, the ambient, and the heater that we can see there. We've got the dye in our process line. Imagine yourself walking around that factory and getting the same result over and over again as we can see on our process monitoring screen. Now as we change our process, here I am adding red dye into our facility, we can begin to see the change in the chemistry that we need to monitor. We see the concentration of the red dye beginning to increase. Now if we let that stabilize as it would in any flowing system, what we begin to see is that even when we change that, even at the different temperatures, we get the same concentrations of the blue and the red dye in real time. Wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the facility, whatever time of year it is, whatever time of day it is, you can trust the flame spectrometer to give you the same performance irrespective of the ambient temperature.